Well, it's a new day in Philadelphia politics. For the first time ever, a third party candidate has won a seat in city council. Mayor Kenny is also waking up victorious after securing a second term. I'm Miss News reporter Jan Carabeo is live at City Hall with more on the election night results. Jan. Janelle and Jim, good morning. Election day turns into a historic night for Philadelphia City Council. More on that race in just a moment. But first, we start with the mayor's race. Mayor Jim Kenney has secured a second term. And already, we're told, back to business today, we're told he plans on announcing new investments into fighting crime. Thank you all. Thank you all for hanging in there. Philadelphia Mayor Jim Kenney stepping up to the podium to thank his supporters on election night after easily winning re-election with more than 82% of the vote. I'm ready to continue the fight and keep confronting the challenges that lie ahead. Kenney says education and combating crime will remain his top priorities. After all, Philly's homicide rate continues to rise. This year, there have been at least 298 homicides in the city. That's a 6% increase. Increase from last year when the city experienced its most homicide since 2007. But another big question has already confronted Kenny before his second term even starts. Will Kenny complete this term with reports that he's thinking about a run for Pennsylvania governor in 2022? Kenny was non committal last night to completing four years. I certainly would look at something like that. I don't know, two years is a lifetime in politics. My job right now is to continue to be the mayor, which I will, and we'll cross that bridge when we come to. Are you willing to say right now that you would commit to four years as mayor? Well, I'm not committing to that right now. I'm going to take a day to time. I just got reelected. Meantime, it was a historic night for city council. Kendra Brooks became the first third party candidate to win a seat at the table. The Working Families Party candidate scored an at large seat, becoming the first candidate outside the two major parties to win the seat in 100 years. Republican incumbent David O was reelected, so that means GOP incumbent Al Taubenberger lost his seat. So some new faces on city council, no win bigger than that of Kendra Brooks. Even before those results were finalized last night, Mayor Jim Kenney pledged to work with whatever party ended up winning. We're live outside City Hall this morning. Jan Carabeo, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Jim and Janelle, back in two. Thank you, Jan.